I've been wanting to make this video for some time, but it is a very touchy subject. And after I watched Nate's video on child abuse again today, I felt it had to be said. There have been lately a lot of children subscribing to my account, and in some ways I'm very honored. In some other ways, it kind of makes me nervous. On some of the comments I've left on some of the videos throughout my short time on YouTube, I've talked about some of the horrible things that happened in my past when I was a child. My father was a military man who was forced into marriage through an unwanted pregnancy right after the Second World War. And I'm the product of that pregnancy. My father always hated the fact that he had to marry my mother and always hated me for being there. When I was a very young child, I have absolutely no happy memories of my home life. And that is pretty bad. The kinds of things I do remember, jumping out of the second story, breaking my leg in a garbage can, trying to flee my drunken father who was beating my mother, breaking her arms, pounding on my sisters. Or the time that he came after me because I had been seen playing with matches out in the field and decided he was going to teach me a lesson. And he came after me with a, with a propane torch to burn me. And I hid under my bed and covered myself with the blankets in absolute fear and terror and he set my bed on fire that is child abuse of the worst possible form and it happens constantly all the time I remember my father going to the bar every night and getting drunk and we would have nothing to eat in the house my mother would go and pick tomatoes and we would go pick strawberries in the field just so we could have something to eat my father would come home with a machine gun because he was in the Dipl Diplomatic Courier Corps and he would transfer documents for NORAD and he would come into the basement and when he was mad and drunk he would start shooting the machine gun at the walls and anybody who got in his way. Child abuse is a serious, serious matter and I don't care if it's physical abuse like the kind I suffered or mental abuse when you tell your child that it, she or he is not worth the ground they walk on, the emotional abuse, or what seems to be the most prevalent today, sexual abuse. I think it's okay to love a child, to care, to cherish a child, to care for a child, but the minute that you cross that line where it becomes anything more than that, then you should be locked away. And there's no discussion there. I'm very, very uncomfortable with the amount of kids I see on YouTube that are exposing themselves. And some of them have subscribers which are known pedophiles. I recently saw a video uploaded by um, Tim Up Down Mostly with a link to uh, the Cyber Tip Hotline. And there are many, many uh, places. I will not subscribe to a child unless that child makes his parent aware that I exist, that that child looks at my profile, reads it completely, asks the parent if it is okay for me to subscribe. And if those conditions are met, I'll return subscriptions. Subscriptions that are made like uh, Nate uh, to Bait 2 or Ask or um, any other child that, that subscribes to my channel. I've done this to every child that has subscribed um, except for Righteous Dude 93 but I had talked to him at length because 
we both share medical conditions that we can encourage each other with. And I think that's a helpful thing. If you suspect any form of child abuse, and I don't care what kind it is, any form at all, there are a million places to go. Call your local social services, go online, child help, cybertip.org. There are many, many places to go for help and get help because it will stay with you the rest of your life, no matter what form it takes. You will deal with it. You will fight with it. It will hurt you forever. And you run the chance that sometimes in your later years that you may hurt somebody else because of the anger that builds up inside you. So, kids, stay safe. Take care. And I've told you before, keep your shirts on. When I was 12, my dad fractured my skull right above here. And I spent quite a while in the hospital. He was taken to court and I was removed from the family. In about eight months, I went through about 21 foster homes throughout uh, the province of Ontario. Then they put me back into my dad's care. So I ran away. And I ran away to Toronto. And I basically grew up from 12 and a half, 13 to 18 on the streets of Toronto and Montreal. At 18, I was rescued by somebody from the Salvation Army, which is something I've never forgotten. It gave me a new leaf on life, a new lease on life and I've never looked back. I've never seen my father since then and I really don't care to. As somebody who believes in Jesus Christ and believes in the principles of forgiveness, I can forgive my father. I can understand the pain that he was going through. I can understand how the army turned him into a killing madman. I can understand all that but I cannot forget what happened and I will never ever be able to forget what happened. So if someone is hurting you in any way, please think about this video and seek help. Because nobody, nobody deserves to be hurt as a child.